Let's pray. And we're back at the State of the Tourism Industry Conference here at the beautiful resort right here in the Turks and Caicos Island. I want to tell you what a conference it's been. Ronnie, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us what you do. Okay, so my name is Ronnie James. I am the Deputy Permanent Secretary within the Ministry of Tourism. I am also uh, responsible for the environment and also religious affairs, which is a relatively new unit right. to engage the religious communities within the Turks and Caicos Islands. Ronnie, we had the bishop on uh, already on the uh, podcast, spoke so highly of the government's desire to bring the religious leaders into the conversation. Everything that you do as a government, they're included in that conversation. It's got to be very important to you. Well, of course, we are a religious uh, country. Uh, it's enshrined in our constitution, our religious affairs. So we're working together with the churches to see how best uh, the community and the churches to engage because the churches need a seat at the table. Uh, they need to be involved. And the idea is primarily to ensure that they uh, have a say as it relates to the decisions of government to ensure that they are a part of the decisions. Uh, Ron Lee, how is the conference going for you so far? Everything you hoped it would be? Well, hope and more. I find that it was very informative. I was very impressed by the, the, the CTO chairman's speech. I was enlightened uh, by the community support. Uh, and I believe that as, as uh, comrades in tourism, we must ensure that we we work together to uplift the uh, the uh, the tourism product of the Caribbean. So, you know, they, people talk a lot about an experience, right? Uh, kind of adapting new technologies sustainably. Everything was about doing an experience the right way. Right. Vital. Absolutely. One of the uh, points that I took away from the conference, as well, even though it was a, a set, but that we should seek to be more, uh, not, not so much competitors, but competitors, mm -hmm. and working basically together to ensure that the diverse product of each uh, country is displayed. So we're more working together in a cohesive uh, way to ensure that we, we, we produce what the Caribbean need to do as opposed to being competitors. Cool well, that's clear in the room. Every, yes, everybody's yes, in the room. Absolutely. Everybody's in the conversation, looking for those points where yeah. you can be uh, stronger together. I often use the absolutely. expression that a, a rising tide goes on boats. You see that happening here. Absolutely, absolutely. There is a, 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 a more of a unity front, and that's what we must do as Caribbean comrades, as Caribbean colleagues, to work together to ensure that we promote the sea sun, the sand, and ensure that each uh, diverse or unique product and in the Caribbean is showcased on a wider scale. Because each country has their own culture, they have their own uh, style of music, and I don't know if you were fortunate to be inside when the cultural show was going on, but I believe that was well accepted. Oh, well, 100% Ronnie, I mean, it, part of the experience is indeed the culture. It right? is indeed the so culture. So vitally important. But on the note of the cultural presentation that was made, there's a grade six class from a local school here, engaging that next generation, exciting them about what's possible Caribbean-wide in the tourism sector, so important. Well, we are the future of the, the Caribbean. Uh, um, I hold a very uh, high position, but I'm relatively young, so I am a part of that generation. And part of my role uh, in government is to ensure that the next generation is secure. And there is a clear uh, vision for the next generation on where we intend to take culture, uh, culture and tourism going forward to ensure that Turks and Caicos Islands uh, tourism is showcased on a wider scale not only perhaps in the Caribbean, not only in North America, but, but we're looking into Latin America, Central America, and see how best we can tap into uh, a lot of those tourism as well. 
Ron Lee, an absolute pleasure to have you in conversation. It's clear that you've got a great vision. I watch thank your you. eyes well, light up when you. you talk about this stuff. So they've got the right person on the job thank right you. now. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much.